In this screencast video lecture, we are going to see the points related to anaplerotic reaction. What is meant by anaplerotic reactions? They are certain reaction that replenish the intermediate that may be removed for the biosynthesis of other products. This could be best explained there in the TCA cycle. TCA cycle can be referred as a hub of the metabolism as it plays a central importance or role in both energy generation as well as the biosynthesis. For this reason only, TCA cycle is referred as a ambibolic pathway. That is a pathway in which both anabolism and catabolism could occur together. Thus, the anaplerotic reactions are chemical reactions that form intermediates of the metabolic pathway. A classical example could be understand when you look at into the citric acid cycle or TCA cycle. During normal functioning of the cycle for respiration, concentrations of the TCA intermediates may remain constant. However, several biosynthetic reactions that also occur in the cell simultaneously try to use certain molecules as a substrate. That is, certain intermediates of the TCA cycle can be taken up for the biosynthetic reaction. As a result, the intermediate will start depleting. Under this condition, certain enzymes should be present which can able to synthesize again the intermediary compounds there in the pathway. Thus, anaplerosis refers to an act of replenishing the TCA cycle intermediates that have been extracted for the biosynthesis process. So, this could be mediated by a set of reactions that are referred as anaplerotic reactions. Therefore, during operation of this TCA cycle, it is crucial for the cell to regulate the concentration of its intermediate metabolites in the mitochondria. So, in a cell, an anaplerotic flux must always balance the cataplerotic flux in order to maintain a homeostasis during the process of cellular respiration. In TCA cycle, there are four major anaplerotic reactions that replenish the intermediates of the citric acid cycle or TCA cycle. They are pyruvate to oxaloacetate step. The next one is phosphoenol pyruvate to oxaloacetate. The next one is phosphoenol pyruvate to oxaloacetate using PEP carboxy kinase enzyme. And the final one is pyruvate to malate. We will try to see one by one. First one is a pyruvate to oxaloacetate. This reaction takes place in the cells of liver as well as in the kidney. The enzyme required to convert pyruvate to oxaloacetate is pyruvate carboxylase. This reaction is a reversible reaction. Oxaloacetate serves as the intermediate of the TCA cycle. That it undergoes a condensation reaction by citrate synthase enzyme in order to yield citrate molecule. The chemical reaction can be as follows. This reaction is catalyzed by pyruvate carboxylase enzyme, the enzyme that catalyzes the reversible reactions also. This is the most important part of the anaplerotic route or anaplerotic pathway. Pyruvate carboxylase is a mitochondrial enzyme that catalyzes carboxylation reactions and it is considered as a regulatory enzyme of the citric acid cycle. It requires an allosteric activator for its activity, which is actually acetyl-CoA which acts as a positive allosteric modulator of this enzyme. Pyruvate carboxylase has two major roles, one as a anaplerosis process and second one in the gluconeogenesis. Biotin is the prosthetic group or cofactor or coenzyme of this enzyme. Biotin acts as a carrier of one carbon group and its oxidized state and biotin is an essential part of the human diet and it is abundant in many food sources also. Phosphoenol pyruvate to oxaloacetate. This is the second anaplerotic reaction. Phosphoenol pyruvate is converted into oxaloacetate in order to maintain the steady flow of intermediate by the anaplerotic reaction. This reaction takes place in the heart as well as in the skeletal cells. This reaction is catalyzed by PEP carboxylase enzyme. It is important to note that the production of GTP is associated with this reaction. The reaction is shown below. The enzyme PEP carboxylase mechanism of action is widely studied among the different groups of enzyme. It requires cofactors such as cobalt, magnesium and manganese for its activity. These metallic cofactors are binding to the substrates allosteric sites. And the reaction performed here is an exothermic reaction thus rendering it as a reversible enzyme in the process. 
The next step involves phosphoenol pyruvate to oxaloacetate using the PEP carboxy kinase enzyme. There is an important difference between the oxaloacetate produced by PEP carboxylase as well as PEP carboxy kinase. In this reaction, oxaloacetate formation is accompanied by the formation of the GTP. This reaction takes place in a higher plants, yeast as well as in bacteria. Manganese serves as an important cofactor for this enzyme activity and this reaction is an intermediate between the glycolysis and TCS cycle. The chemical reaction is shown below. The final anaplerotic reaction step is the pyruvate to malate. This conversion of pyruvate to malate is catalyzed by the enzyme malic enzyme. The enzyme performs reductive carboxylation. It uses NADP as a cofactor. The reaction is also a reversible reaction. The site of this anaplerotic pathway is widely distributed in eukaryotes as well as bacteria. The reaction is shown as below. So these are all the various sites or steps of the anaplerotic reaction that could be taking place there in a TCS cycle.